Prince Harry is taking legal action over the UK's Home Office's decision to deny his family police protection in the UK, even though he's offering to pay for it himself. Harry's legal representatives say the decision means it will be too dangerous for him to bring his wife and children home. Since quitting his role as a senior royal, Prince Harry's life has been focused in America. But he says he and his family can no longer even visit the UK because of a decision not to allow them police protection, a decision he's now challenging in court. Another headache for the Queen. This time he is seeking a judicial review against the decision by the Home Office. This is perhaps the beginning of a process whereby Harry wants to try and return to the UK to visit, to, to pick up the threads of his family life in the wider, in the wider family. But it, of course, comes up against the fact that he has, um, you know, in many cases, broken relations and raised suspicion and unease and upset from what he's been saying and doing in the US. Harry and Meghan wanted to bring their baby daughter Lilibet over to meet the Queen in the year that she celebrates her platinum jubilee. But without a police guard, he says it's too dangerous for her and his son Archie. The last time he was in the UK was last July, when he joined his brother, the Duke of Cambridge, to unveil a statue of their mum, Princess Diana, in the gardens of Kensington Palace. The day before the unveiling, Prince Harry came here to Kew Gardens for a charity event with seriously ill children, but says as he left, his car was chased by photographers. Having lost his mum in a car crash when she was being followed by paparazzi, he says the incident has left him afraid for his family's safety when they're here in the UK. Harry is arguing his US security team doesn't have the right jurisdiction abroad or the access to UK intelligence that they need. He's also offering to pay for the policing himself rather than asking the taxpayer. But a former Royal Protection Officer says allowing this would be unprecedented. In my 71 years of being on this earth, I've never known anyone to pay personal protection officers from Scotland Yard to carry out protection. It's unheard of. The only reason anyone gets protection at that level is if they warrant it. In a statement, his legal team said Prince Harry inherited a security risk at birth for life. While his role within the institution has changed, his profile as a member of the royal family has not nor has the threat to him and his family. The government says its protective security system is rigorous and proportionate. A judge will now decide if the case meets the threshold for a full hearing. Until then, Harry and Meghan and the rest of the royal family will stay oceans apart. Katie Barnfield, Sky News.